A company commander, an entrepreneur, a sportsman must be a fighter. Unit ready for inspection. I still need an answer from you, Christian, to be able to tackle this problem. Yes. We have to convince our clients we must keep at it. One more proposal, then we'll overcome the weak point. We want to train you exceptionally well. Good. Assessment? One vehicle. Moving on to the issue of orders concerning Casa Safe, W, we will begin with getting to know the terrain. Our location is Richigen. Thanks to my training, I can grasp problems in a structured way. This also helps me in my day job. They arrive at 7.15 a.m. so that everybody is up to date. Double white lines, main transport axes. Black, houses belonging to the commune. Especially when people are involved, systematic planning clearly forms the nuts and bolts of each assignment. It guarantees that I keep an overview of the situation and that I can prepare myself for certain contingencies in advance. Becoming familiar with the terrain is very important. Don't say here, otherwise he'll write down here. Say restaurant Rusley, pigsty, spider, cross, fork. Afterwards, you'll be able to use these names in the issue of orders, too. And this will also ensure that we all have the same departure point and are referring to the same things. Another aspect is that we never forget our objective. Take the various statements as you've formulated and combine them with the other factors. What can you deduct from them? Yep. What? I'll be found out if I don't camouflage myself. It's important that employees are able to look ahead. In our business, it's decisive that even locations 18 hours away are reached punctually. Well-trained personnel are more capable of retaining an overview. Could you quickly look up where the number 2.34 is located at the moment? Yes, here he is. Then he'll be there in about a quarter of an hour. Thursday, join, equip, theory, establish a garden from Monday on. This thing's done. Okay, that's how we do it. Yep. In the military, you learn in an impressive way to think out various options, to weigh the pros and cons. We have two alternatives. First, Securo. We cordon off the entire area with territorial fencing. Second alternative, access to the main entrance at the front will be guarded with arms. Leadership Course 1 teaches the basics for future company commanders from all branches of service of the Swiss Armed Forces. The curriculum comprises all areas of leadership, tactics, combat techniques and training management. Career NCOs attend Leadership Course 1 as part of their further vocational training. Thanks to my military progressive training, I have a wide network of relationships. Therefore, I find it easy to find and engage the most suitable people for a variety of tasks. I need someone at very short notice to bail me out. You can count on me, one hand washes the other. Joint accomplishment of a goal is a special challenge. It's good for my career and it's simply fun. I must be a living example of what I expect from my subordinates. That's also the prerequisite for being taken seriously. Good morning! Assignment, three reaction exercises, three changes in direction. Particularly as chief, it's important to find the right tone. I've been given an objective that I have to achieve, namely with the team, that I can choose neither in the military nor in the private sector. There are a variety of opinions within this team. I have to accept these opinions, but sometimes clear words are necessary. That's the business of the team leader. I'm not their mother. That's the responsibility of the team leader during a rescue operation. It's quite clear. You learned that at officer's school too. Here you have to communicate efficiently, you adjust to the person to whom you're speaking. Whether I'm working with a technical expert or with a partner, I adjust my message to help them understand. It's important that they know how the civilian side works, so that we can achieve a coordinated operation. 
I come to the situation. During the past days, we had extreme precipitation that by far exceeded the usual amount. We have an unusually large amount of water in the Mata suburb. Nothing is functioning anymore, absolutely nothing. We've expanded all our resources in the town of Bern. All means are already deployed. We no longer have the necessary staying power. Tear down the wall. It must be removed. The water needs to drain away. To give a message with technical content, I must be confident. If not, the communication will fail. What do I have? What can I do? I have light, I have electricity, I can pump water away, I have vehicles, excavators and four multi-purpose trucks. What you work on here with exercises is to increase your self-confidence so that the messages have greater impact. This is something which I have in me, and is not only theory. It's something that I can also use in my daily life. My intention. I want. The mastery of all command and control processes and activities are decisive prerequisites for successful action, not only in the armed forces, but also in the economy. Here, a systematic approach to the problem plays a central role for efficient and timely accomplishment of an objective. In military command and control training, future chiefs learn to systematically apply these processes. They are capable of discerning the important and the unimportant under great time pressure, of visualizing problems, working out and assessing alternative solutions, as well as convincingly presenting their own proposed ones. And finally, the military leaders are able to put the knowledge to practice in the refresher courses of their units. To lead is to impose one's will on others. For this, you must inspire your team. They must be fascinated by their mission. Mission, guard the nuclear power station in Mülleberg. The true salesman manages to bring his fellow workers to carry out even the most unpleasant tasks. Employers benefit from the transfer of these leadership skills to the vocational environment. Their employees generate a substantial added value at the workplace. Because I believe that the advantage of the training is worthwhile for the firm, I gladly accept their absence. They return to the business and are highly motivated to put what they've learned into practice. Good morning. Alarm. The exercise will last from today, Monday midnight, until Tuesday, 16 February at midnight. Special instructions. Carry out command and control independently, even under adverse conditions. Always maintain an impeccable military stance and let your behavior be exemplary. We want to give them the opportunity to measure themselves. Up to what point am I very efficient? Until when am I barely usable? And from what moment on have I become useless? When I'm completely exhausted, it's my own ambition that drives me on, to grow beyond my own limitations. My pride simply doesn't allow me to give up. You will all be here again at 5 a.m. at the latest for the issue of orders. Smile. Very good. Off to work. The enemy will try to enforce a crossing of the M River by the Cantonal Road. If you block the way there, he'll simply go through under here, won't he? I need someone to stay here and watch this demolition charge. It can't be those who are holding the bridge. According to the instructions, you can't place any troops here at all. In particular in the field of leadership, you're also allowed to make mistakes. You cannot afford to make mistakes in the private sector without consequences for your career. Self-discipline is the basic prerequisite for solving complex problems. From my point of view, indispensable for success.
Das Hauptziel der Militär The main goal of military leader training is leading people. Here we primarily want to train chiefs. A boss must not only have ideas, develop projects or establish concepts, above all he must by virtue of his personality and charisma move people.